in the beginning you need to calibrate it. In this robotics lab at Oregon State University. Uh, so now I'm going to log on to it. The future is here. Uh, it's called Cassie. A walking and running robot. These days Cassie is undergoing some testing in the lab, so it's a little tied up. So, still work in progress. But. but you can see it in action in this video recently shot by crews at Oregon State. They captured Cassie walking around the campus, taking a leisurely stroll along the river and down the football field. Cassie is an upgrade from the earlier and much bigger prototype named Atreus. The difference is that Cassie can um, do so much more because you can just stand in one place if you want and balance, and then you can sort of pick up a foot and start to walk, and you can uh, steer your way around an environment. The engineer's next step will be to fit the robot with cameras and laser sensors so it'll be able to see and maneuver around large obstacles, for example, climb stairs. They say someday the robots could be used in warehouses to move or unload boxes, or perhaps they could team up with self-driving delivery trucks. And in the middle of the night, if you can have them carrying all the packages and then these machines picking up those packages and doing that last 50 feet from the curb to the doorstep. Or even one day in the not so distant future, Cassie could help you out around the house. So I'm really looking towards having these things ultimately in my home as I age, having a helper in my house. I know that, um, I know that robots are going to be a lot more patient with me than my children will be. As for how much one of these robots might eventually cost, about $30,000, no more expensive than a mid-grade car, and they could play just as important of a role. I think legs and having really capable leg and locomotion in the world um, is really going to change our society as much as the automobile has. And when these engineers say not so distant future, they mean it. According to Agility Robotics, we could be seeing these robots being used in society within the next 10 years. Hmm. Back to you. Interesting to see that. All right, Keely.